Hello everyone, welcome to the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for April the 6th, 2020. Uh, I am Aking Brain, I will be your host. We're going to uh, go through our high priority initiatives and lots of other stuff. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, we have a note taker, that's cool. Uh, first, you know, if everyone could put their uh, names into the attendee list, that's great. Um, and we can go through the initiatives. Um, so the first one is upcoming and shipped releases. Uh, I can talk about JSRPFS briefly. We shipped uh, 0.42 and 0 uh, kind of through the back door because I don't know. It was because kind of there was no like a big bang feature for it. It was just a bunch of bug fixes, but one of them happened to be a breaking change. So we, we have the, the uh, minor version number. Uh, there is a blog post which I'm gonna. I'm not going to leave this chair until I've finished it. Um, so that will be coming later, 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 but soon. Mm. Any update on Guy PFS? Yeah, yes. so we... Oh, go ahead. No, go for it, Jacob. Uh, yeah, the 0.5 RC um, should hopefully be coming later today. Uh, we just need to finish up a few last-minute bugs um, and then chuck it over the wall for people to start testing with. Awesome news. We should get an update from Steven when he gets on this call about what those last few bugs are. I remember there was something that needed a review from yesterday. Yeah, there are a few last minute like DHT uh, issues that need to get resolved. But yeah, if Steven pops on, he can go, go through those. Cool. Uh, so the next um, initiative is the upgraded testing uh, infra slash process. Anybody give any updates about it? Mm -hmm. You look like anyone from that team is there. Uh, content routing? I think that's pretty similar to the 0 0.5 uh sprint um that that i think the main thing is up on there's a stable cut of the dht or pretty close so cypress got got merged at this point uh so it's just sort of final uh things towards 0.5 at the moment yeah, and then with that we have a few things that we also um are tabling because like we need want to get this out. Um, so we're tabling a few things for 0.6. So we were working with the team to figure out like the things that we want to get into the 0.6 release. Um, and then all of the stuff that we we punted to 0.6 from 0.5, um, make sure that works all prioritized. So we have a, a collection of that. So we'll be working on that, um, but after the 0.5 RC. Cool. Uh, what's the Briefly about GuyPFS 0.5. Um, is, is there any update from you on that? Uh, yes, the plan is, well, I assume you were talking about this, but the plan is to get an RC out today. So, the new plan, the new is newest plan. No, but there's nothing currently blocking it other than fixing a couple of final small bugs. I think Jacob's question was like, what, what, what it particularly is on the burn down list? Uh, that needs to be uh, done by the end of the day in order to get to that. So we had some test failures in GoFS. Uh, one panic uh, that we're going to go fix. Um, as far as that's it. Basically, it's like get the IFS test to pass, uh, try to run something for, for a couple hours to make sure there's nothing like totally wonky about it, and then make the build for the RC. Uh, so there's no other, like, and we don't, like, I think we've solved all of our bit swap. We've solved all the outstanding issues with the, the stream multiplexers by just little things back. The only thing left is like the double check the DHT stuff. Uh, the plan is not to do the dual DHT thing. Uh, so a single DHT, or sorry, um, like not have like a, a private DHT and a public DHT, just a, this one DHT, and also not to have the address filtering the DHT, um, uh, because uh, both of those would like break NAT or like the DHTs behind NATs. Also not have the, the um, auto NAT system uh, used for the DHT in this release. Because the problem there is again, like if I'm on a private network, uh, like no one's public, uh, then like none of these nodes would come to DHT servers and that would like break people who are on private networks. Now, the other way to go here, 
uh, that we can talk about is like uh, we could set DHT into auto mode by default, um, and then just tell, hey, if you're running on a private like on a VPN, um, uh, don't upgrade to this RC. We will fix this in the next RC. Uh, but I, I'd rather let more people test this right now, um, and then make this change in the second RC. Um, but yeah. How much time do we expect between the second RC and the full release? Because it would be useful to get some testing of that code. Well, so I want the second RC to be out at the end of this week, actually, um, or at the beginning of next week. And yes, we do need to test that code, but we also want like an actual test ground test of that code, which is the other reason why I'm thinking of maybe not trying to put that into this RC. Like, it's something we definitely absolutely 100% need in the release. It's kind of critical for the release. Uh, but like we have been testing Autonet for a while. Autonet just seems to work magically. Uh, uh, so like the, the only thing, like, I don't think we're going to be finding issues in Autonet in the RC. I think we find issues in Autonet. It will be in like test ground tests where we notice it just does not work at scale, uh, which I don't think is going to happen because again, we've had it for a while and it seems to just work. Um, but like, yeah, I think that's the better place to test it. That's my current thinking there. Uh, I'm also including it and saying, like, uh, if you're going to run this or like in a, in a um, like public network, you won't get the DHC. Like, I mean, I guess my, my pushback would be test ground is only going to have the network configurations that we already know how to code. And the yes. RC is where we're going to find the weird network configurations. True. Yes. Um, yeah. So maybe we should just do it. Yeah. That, that's a good argument for just like saying, okay, like uh, this RC is not going to work if you don't, if you're not connected to the public network, if you're on a, a private network, if you're on a private network, uh, well, so we can add, so we were planning on adding a mode, uh, DHT server mode, because uh, we have DHT and DHT client. Um, the DHT server mode is going to be like, trust me, I want to be a server. Um, uh, so we could add that mode uh, right now, but it takes like 10 minutes. Um, and then, to, well, hey, if you're running in like, uh, like VPNs and stuff like that, please enable DHT server mode. Um, and then your node will continue to do what it was supposed to do. Uh, but Basically, I want to optimize for getting this release out ASAP. We don't have to make the decision right now. We can make it over the course of the day. Um, but basically, regardless of what happens, we are cutting our save at the end of the day. Uh, we're not going to be walking on these decisions. Um, this is really that point. At this point, just like, well, should we do this first or that first? Cool. Um, so moving on to the next initiative, uh, subdomain gateway. Done. I think it's done. Uh, best updates. Uh, uh, I have an update here. Um, the want list leak that we thought we saw was not a want list leak. It was a metrics issue. Um, we have now fixed that metrics issue, and we can fix the problem. Um, the metrics we're now reporting are a bit weird compared to reporting before, so we're going to have to work on that and try to report better metrics. But that's not critical and blocking the release. Um, yeah. uh, Stream-based content chunking, research and improvements. Peter Robinson, take it away. Yes. Uh, so uh, I have. Uh, the tool fully converging now with GoIPFS, except for Rabin, which uh, should land in another three, four hours, hopefully. Um, there was yet another redesign of the tool to start running in uh, constant time with no locations. There is no GC anymore showing up on any profile, uh, all to get to a point where uh benchmarks actually mean stuff uh this was kind of prompted after a couple of discussions <clears throat> with uh, people who are really interested in using that uh so yeah uh if i don't uh if i go go on with a little bit less sleep uh it should uh, show up by end of tomorrow for external use uh there are already two people uh waiting uh, to start playing with that. So that's where I am. Uh, I have a question uh, for uh, Stephen whether we need, 
whether we're reconsidering putting in uh, the DAG import export stuff in this release or it's definitely out at this point. Uh, I'm still thinking of putting in the next RC, not this RC. Uh, it, okay. it is a very, very, very small feature and we do really want it in. It's been on the list for a while. Uh, okay, so so I will then prioritize getting these uh, benchmarks in that you wanted because yeah. I, I wasn't sure if we're still putting it in or not. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, because there's, we have external dependencies on yeah. this feature that are kind of important. So. Yeah, that, uh, that 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 will be available then by end of tomorrow uh, for the awesome. uh, at benchmark stuff. That's all I have. Well, the next thing up is the Rust RPFS initiative. Hey, folks. Uh, we are just rounding the end of phase one point two, which is the end of phase one of the super phase um we are going to be delivering uh the block endpoints the dag endpoints the refs endpoints and the bit swap endpoints all conforming to the interface tests as expected um the one note that i had i've talked to volker and hugo about this is that we will be making some prs to refactor some of the interface tests to not use um a diversity of APIs on a singular test. So for example, like the refs endpoints also relies on ipfs.add and um, object.put, which we don't have in Rust IPFS. Um, so we discussed that and I got permission to basically replace those with the much simpler like block.put APIs um, and things like that. So that's about it from us. So you'll be able to expect that uh, best case Wednesday, worst case Friday will be when those the final grant report and um, the the features will be, you know, will land in Rust IPFS. So that would be really cool, and that should enable people to make some IPLD applications, which will be neat to see. That's awesome. Woo! Thanks, Molly, and thanks everybody. That's all for me. And that's super exciting. And I look forward to the um, PRs to the interface test as well. With these, you know, test the first class code. You know, all needs all needs a lot of love. Um, so moving on to the other initiatives. So the backlog of initiatives that are either on hold or low priority. So Unix of v one point five. Anyone got an update for? Mine. I'm sorry, Unix FS v 1.5. There is a there's an open bounty for um, this being implemented in Go, and someone has picked it up and is working on it. But I do not yet know when they're going to finish it. But they were making comments on uh, the the specs that they're paying attention and and doing stuff. I don't know what their their ETA is though. Yeah, uh, pretty much all the questions that they did post got answered, but we haven't heard from them what's it like about the week now. So, yeah. Cool. Um, so, ad performance in JSRPFS. This is um, larger around pinning at the moment. Um, and so, I still haven't had a chance to incorporate the feedback from our discussions. I did create a small roadmap for JSRPFS, uh, which is linked to the top of the document. Um, and part of that is the pinning, so it's slow for like three releases time, so that gives me a bit more time to actually do the work, uh, which is cool. So then there should be some updates on that. Um, moving on, uh, ED25519 key into it. Okay. Yeah, we skipped uh, one of Vashko's item, the Pierce War improvements. Main section. Yeah, so I can talk. Uh, hey everyone, so uh, this is a new initiative for this quarter the PeerStar improvements in JSLAN. Basically, the main goal is to improve browser nodes connectivity and also the peer discovery on the, the second node start. Uh, also, with this, we want to provide a friendlier uh, PeerStar API and pave the way towards the future PeerStar V2. So basically, I created a plan for these improvements, with, uh, which is divided into six milestones. The issue is linked if you want to check it out. 
And uh, the goal for this is uh, to go from the current state of our peer store into a persistent peer store and then peer store V2. So I'm currently working on the first two milestones, which basically consists the first one in decoupling the GSLP2P peer store into the address book and proto book. And with this, uh, we can go to the second one, which uh, I'm also starting to work, which is removing the peer store, the peer info usage across the old code base and uh, after it deprecated. Uh, the first milestone is now in a review stage and I'm starting the development for the second one. And that's it. And then back to the ED25519 key interrupt. Um, yeah, so we have most of the code in JSLPDP, but we're not doing interrupt tests. Um, so the goal there is to get interrupt tests all the way up through both in LibPDP interrupt and into IPFS interrupt because we need this in place and need to make sure that it's working properly in JS before IPFS 0.6 ships. Um, so I'm gonna try to get that done sooner rather than later so that we can get that deployed out into the JS wilds um, before Go goes. Cool stuff. Um, yeah, sorry for skipping the crystal section. Uh, I actually copy and pasted the uh, quick part into a text document because scrolling is not great when everyone's editing it at the same time. Uh, so yeah, so the, the final uh, initiative there is the migration to multi hash keys in the block store. Can anyone speak to that? Cool, that's the end of the initiative then. Uh, so moving on to uh, design review proposals. Has anybody got anything they would like to propose? Blockers and asks. Questions. Parking it. Amazing. I think that's it then. I think we're done. Thank you very much for coming. This has been the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday the 6th of April 2020. Uh, over making brain, stay safe on the internet, touch your face still. Uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye. Thanks, team. Bye.